Last time we learned that math is a language of the universe. Specifically, math is knowledge gained by counting patterns and using them to create or solve things. So then, just what truly is science? The word science comes from the Latin "sire," which means to know. So science means knowledge. It is the knowledge we gain by observing the patterns around us and within us, and by uncovering their story. It is the opposite of an opinion. It is information. So science is the knowledge we gain from noticing patterns and finding out why they exist. Like, why is the sky blue, or why is the sun so bright? Why do I feel happier when I eat fruit? You see, these are all scientific questions because you are noticing a pattern and asking why they are there. And we study or research to find their answers. Sometimes we notice a pattern, and the only way to find out why it's there is if we experiment. Can you say experiment? That's when you try out some things to see what will happen. I experimented once too. I eat new foods and liquids, and notice if my body likes them. By doing this, I notice that my body loves water and smoothies and fruit and vegetables. What about you? I also noticed that sometimes what my taste buds like isn't what my body likes. Like, have you ever noticed your belly hurts after too much sugar?、Mm-hmm. So by paying attention, I learned I have to help my taste buds like what keeps my body happy. What you have just begun is the scientific method, the way we can uncover the truth about our world simply by noticing something and asking why it is. This. Is how we do science. What did you notice that your body likes, and not just what your taste buds like? Every time we eat something new, we are experimenting with our body to see how it responds. That means you are already doing the scientific method. Now, I'm going to give you a few examples. I want you to decide if it is a scientific observation, something you noticed, or Just an opinion. An opinion is an idea that's not always founded on knowledge. Okay, so is this an observation or an opinion? I notice my energy picks up when I start my morning with water. Did you say observation? You're right. It's something we noticed. Is this science or an opinion? Candy is the best. If you said opinion, you are correct. Is this an observation or an opinion? I noticed I experienced a high and a crashing of energy after eating candy. If you said observation, you are correct. Is this science? I noticed my match won't light when it's damp. Mm-hmm. That's science. That's an observation. Something you notice. What about this? Is this science? My friend says dandelions melt. Nope. That's not science. It's not science if it cannot be observed. You cannot just say something in science. You have to observe it. So, if science is knowledge gained by observing patterns and asking why or how they exist, and math is knowledge gained by counting patterns and using them to create or solve things, then how might math help science? Huh? Because math makes our observations. More specific, it even allows us to predict future or past patterns. I'll give you some examples. If science noticed I feel better when I drink water, math asks how much water. If science notices they played a strong game today, then math asks what was the score, how many rebounds, assists. If science notices my car runs better with an oil change, well then math asks. How often should you change the oil? You see, now our science is getting sharper.